Hey, how's it going everybody? Yugi Fire 4 here, and I'm here with some YGO Pro duels for you guys. We have four duels, like always, and it's going to be over one deck, my Dragoonie 2.0, which is I took concept from an OCG deck that you'll be seeing tomorrow. So you're going to, today, you'll be seeing the deck tomorrow in OCG Jesus. It was a Dragoonie deck I saw. I took aspects of that deck and kind of combined them with this deck to kind of my play style. So let's see if we can find. So we have Dragoonie 2.0 versus Ancient Old Farts, Gusto, Heratic again, and then Heratics. I came across like two Heratic decks, but I like them anyway. So let's go again. Let's do the first one Dragoonie versus Ancient Old Parts. So he's playing Old Parts, a very interesting build of Old Parts. It's sort of similar to a build that I'm thinking of. I'm kind of from the ground with, but I have a pretty, I have a really decent hand. I have a, this is a really nice hand here. So, I go and actually go to Sarcophagus to send that to the graveyard so I can add Mistleton. Uh, this Storm Special Dragon helps Dragoonies out so much. So, I go and use Dragon's Fiend to uh, send Zephyros, add Ducks to hand, uh, Foolish, Phalanx, then I normally summon Ducks, uh, use Effect 2 Special and Institute. I'm doing the shenanigans, the basic Dragoonies stuff, or just go Vajriana. No, I, no, actually, yeah. I'm bouncing, I summon Zephyros, uh, sync with Ducks, and just go Vajriana, and then. I'm basically, and at the end of this, I'm going to have some of the sc Scrap Dragon. Use the fact to pop his, uh, my, pop my, my Foolish, no, uh, pop, uh, pop my MST, to pop his monster, and I'm pretty much attacking him for uh, quite a bit of damage. So, these are the special on Crystal Bones. Use the fact to special summon, um, Crystal Skull, and he's going to sack two for Ancient of Golem, and activate Charging Emperor. Now that is actually a pretty devastating card, uh, especially in a deck like this. Like, oh wow! Like, at first I was going like, how am I going to get over to this? Like, I was like, I was in trouble. But I top deck in Misty. So in Misty, his uh, that 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 spell card. Go for Duck to use effect to stretch some. Not well, you know, Simphalanx. He MSTs. Oh well. Uh, stretch some Mistletoe effect. I'm still I'm still gonna I'm still gonna get my play up, dude. I'm sorry. Sneak up for a uh, Gay Dark. Exceed for a Tum, you know, effect, summon, uh, Metal Dragon, use effect to special summon my, uh, my Scrap Dragon from the grave. Use Scrap's effect, well, some of that Scrap's effect, destroy, and then destroy, and attack for game. Uh, there's GG right there. They're still so good. Dragoonies have improved so much over these. It's crazy. Replay ended. Let's go for another one. Against Gustos. I've been seeing a lot of Gustos lately. But, I pretty much just, oh, sack him so bad. So I killed Ravine. Uh, I send my Labor to the Grave to summon my, to get my Phalanx. And I'm pretty much going for the first turn Stardust play, which is basic Dragoonie stuff. It's going for that first turn Stardust. And just that bomb, which is in turn. So that's pretty much basic, generic stuff right there. It's going for a first turn Stardust. And this is the first time I've seen his hands, and he has Spore. I'm wearing... I guess it was like for a win based deck. So I go and use Pound Duality and just see what I can get. Uh, I believe, I yeah, I added Missy to hand so I can just go ahead and uh, get rid of the back row. Because for my luck, it's probably Deep Prison, which it wasn't, but I didn't know that at the time. Because every time I summon Stardust on attack, it's normally, here's Deep Prison to banish your Stardust. It's, it's like, oh man, really? You have to be a jerk. So he gets Junk Synchro, which is actually a really good card in Gustos. Uh, he summons Junk. Uh, he's going for that one of the Synchros. I forgot what it's called. He's going for this thing, but I'm just going to say, you know, Bottomless, like, screw you. <laughs> and he, I tied like Tempest, which I use to affect. Uh, send Tempest, uh, get Ducks to hand. Uh, summon Ducks, use effect to special on Phalanx. And I'm doing the shenanigans once again. Here comes Vajrayana, and I'm going uh, Crimson Blader, which is a card I really enjoy. I've always loved using Crimson Blader. So now it's like, as I know Gusto's like to make those nice, angry, vicious synchros, it was like, you know, Crimson Blader will shut that down. It will stop that in their tracks. Like, no, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not going to allow them to do that. So Crimson Blader is so, Crimson Blader is so good against the matter right now. It's crazy. So he's gonna set his uh his flying Kamakiri, which I don't care. I'm gonna scrap dragon because I'm used to the fact to uh 
Sounds grave. Add ducks to hand. Special. Use its effect to add missile tin. Summon ducks. Use effect. Special on my, uh, my phalanx. Use its effect. Summon gay dark. Special. Um, special on phalanx. We're going to exceed into a, an atom. Use a tom's effect. Special missile tin. Then we're going to sync up for Scrap Dragon. Make uh, Thunder Charger. Scrap Dragon's effect. Pop field spell. Pop face down. He surrenders. Look, look at that. Look at that. It's like I just went off like. There's like tons of crazy shit going on with this Dragoonity deck. It's just nuts. Crimson Blader, I love you to death. Now we're going to Dragoonity 2.0 versus Heratix. The first duel. <laughs> I had against the Arag deck. Uh, this was actually pretty interesting. Uh, this proves how good Crimson Blader is. How much of a badass he is. So he's kind of going off here. He's, he's doing his little shenanigans. And he's going... And he had a weird card. Like, he's using Luminous Spark. Which, I kind of understand why he's playing it, but... And start, now you're going to see why Crimson Blader is just a badass against this deck. Against Heratix. So good. So with Search Sword... Banish, draw two, add phalanx, summon phalanx, and do shenanigans with Mistleton, and basically get my uh, Crimson Blader on the field. Because when I saw his Heratix, I was thinking, oh, I, I have it in the back, because Crimson Blader says, no. Set two, and turn. Because I'm still, he, he, he's still heavy, you know, he can still do shenanigans, but he, he's going to tribute set, which you can still do. You can still tribute set a uh, monster, so. This doesn't really matter because I now have my Dragon's Ravine, which I go and activate. I discard my Garuda, that ducks, go ducks, and I'm basically going Crimson Blader plus uh, Star Wars Dragon. It's pretty much my play there. Is I want to get that Star Wars Dragon on the field. So now I got a pretty good field here. Star Wars Dragon plus Crimson Blader. I'm attacking Crimson so he can't do anything during his turn, and then go for 2500 damage. I pretty much have shut his entire deck down, especially now that they have a bottomless trap hole plus a solemn warning. I pretty much shut it down. So the top is like a dimensional prison, which is really good for him, but that's better for me. MST. In face space. How like me now? He can't do anything, so I go in duality just to see what I can get. Actually, no, I don't. I forgot he surrenders, because he can't do anything. Crimson Blader screws over her axe so badly. Because now they can't do anything. They can't summon their monsters since all their monsters have or low five or higher, they cannot tribute some of them. They can tribute set them, but they can't tribute some of them. So it really hurts the deck a lot. And this is a big reason why Crimson Blader is such a good card. Final one is Heratix again. I wanted to put this up because I thought it was interesting. Um, by the way, the duel turned out. So he, he, he went first. He has a pretty good hand. He just has Reckless in his turn. Um, I believe I go, I believe I do reality and see what I get, and I, I get ducks, and I believe I add ducks to my hand. Yeah, I do add ducks, and I set bottomless to turn. This is really, I don't really do, I don't really need to do much this turn, so, he is just turn as well. I didn't know what he was playing at the time, you know, he knew what I was playing now, but, uh, I believe I start doing things here. I go sarcophagus, send the tempest, use effect, add missile tin. And I believe, yeah, I believe, I, I do do shenanigans here, I special on Missile Tent, and I do the shenanigans going for Star Wars Dragon, which is what you normally see happen, and attack with 2500 damage. So, it's his turn, and I believe he activates Reckless Greed. Yeah, he does. Drawing two cards, skin, skip next to draw, he goes Heratic, he's just basically going off this turn, and he really does a really damn good job to it. Summon Sue. Uh, he starts on his Watchtower Dragon. He uses his effect. Um, I negate with Star Wars Dragon to get rid of the stews. I didn't want to waste Bottomless too early. And I did and he had Monster Born, which kind of sucked for me, but it, it all makes up in the end, which you'll see what happens. So it goes for a Tum. I Bottomless Trap pull his ass. If he had Monster Reborn, he should have reborn Stardust and then went for a Tum. That way, if I had a Bottomless, he could have negated with Stardust. That was a big misplay on his part. He misplayed so badly. He's going to swing a memory, so he's going to special on Watchtail. And he's going to use the effect to make both of them level 6 and exceed for a strike balancer, which really, really sucks for me because it's like, ah, damn it. Because now I can't use my effects because the balancer and it'll be just the gate and won't be destroyed. I actually got 1,000 damage for it, but 
attack that Darko. I had another plan, even if I didn't tap that Darko, which was attack Bouncer with uh, my Metal Dragon. And then do, you know, and face special some like a, a dragon from my graveyard. So I'm attacking him, and pretty much he's down to 200 life points. He can't really do anything. But he misplayed big. He really should revive my Star Dragon and then went for a Tum. That would have saved the Tum, and he really gone off and possibly kicked my ass in that game. So, Arceus, maybe the god of all Pokemon, but. Dude, you misplayed big time, dude. You really misplayed. Anyway, those are the four Dragonity 2.0 duels. So I hope you guys enjoyed the duels. And comment, rate, subscribe, and bye.